Tepe is a famous Sasiya under the tutelage of Yasaku and is the grandchild of Knocking Master Jiro, from whom he inherits the title. He decided to become a Sasiya after seeing a once beautiful valley that his grandfather used to hunt in be turned into a barren wasteland due to overhunting. After the events in the Four Beasts arc, when he lost in battle against Jua, he was brainwashed to become a ruthless minion of Neo, becoming a threat to the Heavenly Kings. His true intentions are revealed, however, with his intentional destruction and revival of Komatsu's heart and his reveal to Nakam of his freedom from Jua's control and apparent undercover activity in Neo. Tepe has green-colored hair with a pompadour hairstyle similar to his grandfather. Tepe has a scar on the right side of his face, starting from his forehead, over his eye and going down all the way to his neck or maybe even deeper, the length of the, the scar grew due to his confrontation with Jua. He has a well-built physique. He normally wears green pants with a long sleeve green shirt that has a pocket on the left side of his chest for his special ingredients and chemicals. He has also been seen wearing more casual clothing which consists of a black sweater and jeans. He has three earrings on his right ear, each containing of unique liquids used for reviving ingredients. When he is disguised, he wears a green freeze-proof suit, a green mask with a white V-shape on it, and a wig with a mass of wild, light purple hair. As a child, Tepe did not have a pompadour hairstyle, had big round eyes, and lacked the scar he currently has now. After the time skip, Tepe wears darker colored clothing, a cloak, and a covering over his mouth. Tepe has an odd personality. Usually a reserved and quiet person, but can suddenly change to an extremely talkative person to a level that it becomes annoying to the listener. He is also an intelligent and fearless individual in battle, always maintaining a calm disposition even in the face of dangerous foes. As a Cecilia, he cares deeply about the protection of ingredients and lives by a strict creed that does not permit him to hunt or kill beasts of endangered or one-of-a-kind status, only revive or heal them, even if they are highly dangerous entities in which case he will just try and subdue them or stall them while causing as little damage as possible. He can often get a little out of hand with his creed, often randomly reviving ingredients without much thought, even if they are highly dangerous. Also due to being to Cecilia he is also a highly knowledgeable person with a great deal of information on medicine and all sorts of ingredients. A year and a half after being brainwashed by Joie's taste change, Tepe's personality has become more dark, ruthless and corrupted, to the point where he even mercilessly pierced Komatsu and crushed his heart with his own hand and was ready to fight his former friend's allies with a cold and merciless composure. However this is later revealed to be a ruse, as Tepe, for an unknown reason, is not affected by Joie's microbes. Tepe has great faith in the four heavenly kings and Komatsu, trusting them to reach pair in time to save Komatsu, whose heart Tepe crushes, revives, and hides in a back channel, and believing they can take on Neo as a current Cecilia and direct descendant of Knocking Master Jiro, Tepe is a formidable fighter. His abilities is considered on par with the four heavenly kings, as he captured Zebra with a some help from Yasaku and was able to handle beasts more efficiently than Toriko during his time in Ice Hell. Later on, during the cooking fest, he managed to effortlessly block an attack from Zebra and fully restrained him. The confidence he has in his strength is well placed, he single-handedly defeated Tamarod, one of the top members of the Gourmet Corporation. He did not hesitate to challenge Mohyun Shai Shai in combat, clashing with him equally and simply stating that it would be hard to fight Zoss, Jojo, and Kaseru at the same time. He possesses a great deal of knowledge about living organisms, which he employs either to save or at least delay their death or defeat them in battle, taking advantage of their weaknesses and adapting perfectly to their species, even if their body is altered. In a battle, Tepe apparently prefers to observe carefully his opponent before engaging in direct combat. He has highly developed sensory skills to help him in this feat, for example, he was the only one to feel Satsuno's and Alfro's presence and class of power in Ice Hell despite Toriko, Match, and Takamaru, three season fighters themselves, failing to notice. He was also able to sense the four beasts' presence deep underground, something that Mansum couldn't accomplish. He is shown to be a great tracker, as the cloaked figure he was following had complimented him for finding out his location. In terms of physical prowess, he has excellent dexterity and lightning-fast reflexes, as showcased in his confrontation with the Parasite Emperor. His speed seems to be his most astounding trait, not only can he run incredibly quick, leaving after images behind and reaching a distant person before he could react, 
but his attacks are also extraordinarily fast, evidence of this is the fact that not a single character in the series has managed to block or dodge one of his strikes. Despite this, they are carried out with pinpoint accuracy. He is also deft enough to dodge projectiles while in the midst of a jump. At least two of his nails, those of his thumb and pointer finger, can be elongated and acquire remarkable cutting and piercing power upon doing so. Tepe is revered as a very skilled Sasiya. He was trained in the art by Yasaku. He is knowledgeable on a great variety of organisms, allowing him to fight or heal them with little trouble. His first aid allowed people in critical condition to survive. He is also capable of completely destroying any organism or a specific organ within a creature and reviving it instantly all while improving the qualities of the revived organism. He first performs this ability during the botched ambush by Neo when he destroyed Komatsu's heart. He destroyed Komatsu's heart and instantly revived it within the back channel as a means to improve the strength of Komatsu's heart. Tepe revived the heart so that Komatsu can have the strength to use his newly found appetite demon, showing that Tepe revived the heart with much stronger qualities to the point where it allows Komatsu to use his appetite demon without endangering him. Adopting it as his favorite style of combat, Tepe is a master in this field. He is so skilled that he was said to live up to his grandfather's name. His knowledge in knocking is very vast, as he is able to paralyze even rare insects and extremely accomplished combatants with anomalous bodies such as Tomarod. Tepe uses his bare hands to perform knocking on his targets. With guidance from his grandfather, Tepe successfully stops the entire planet from exploding. As a Sasiya, Tepe has many techniques and equipment used to revive ingredients at his disposal. They can also be used for other purposes, such as to cure humans or protect structures. The majority of them are carried around in the form of seeds, and, when soaked in a special fertilizer he keeps in his earring, grow at astounding speed. In his childhood, Tepe's dream was to become a gourmet hunter like his grandfather, but decided to become a Sasiya after seeing that a valley at which his grandfather used to hunt had turned into a barren wasteland, causing his grandfather great grief. Seeing the sad look on his grandfather's face made him choose the path of the Sasiya to protect the ingredients and environments his grandfather loved, so much he ranked 13th in the first popularity poll with 171 votes. Tepe scored 7 in power, 8 in speed, 8 in intelligence, 5 in appetite, and 8 in special abilities on his capture ability data of volume 12. By the events of Century Soup Tepe bears a resemblance to Bullet from a Kame Ga Kill due to his appearance.